welcome back to Kelly Plans It All. I'm Kelly and it's that time we are recapping how I use my planners in September of 2021 with my planned and proper Simply Yours Day Planner as my weekly overview, my Kit Life Daily as my Get Crap Done Check It Off The List Planner, and my Gooseby Twins Planner for social media, volunteering, etc. So let's get going. We're going to start with that weekly overview. I feel like that's always the best place to start. And I just have to tell you, I'm a little shocked that it's already October. So um, I feel like I just recorded the, the one for last month. So it's time to get into September. Um, I did have one little sticker that I, I managed to get down to decorate September's little dashboard page. This kind of holographic Mabel sticker from an actor plans monthly overview is this um like pizza themed it was like a single sheet from a swag situation from an old uh planner event of days gone by the shop um i don't think is even a shop that still exists i tried to like find their instagram page so i could tag them um they don't exist anymore so um that's how old this <laughs> swag sheet is but it's really cute um and I like food, so uh, it works and uh, decorated the month well enough to just throw some pops of color in here. Um, so other than that, because really all of these yellow and orange things came from that sheet, the only thing that is different are my wacky holiday stickers from Design Pandemonium that decorate each day. Um, everything else came from this kit, um, which apparently I've been hoarding for a super long time and finally got some use. So that's a good thing. First week of the month, um, was the week that, um, split some of August going into September. And it's also the week that In the Heights came out on DVD. It was released on the, the 31st. So, uh, of course, An Actor Plans just put out this kit at mid-August um, and so I had received it and was ready to use it. So I love this kit because it's of course Mabel dressed as all of our little friends from In the Heights um, but she does such a beautiful job of recreating the set in the background. It's like you can see the George Washington Bridge and the, the car service and the bodega and the salon like it's all just perfection. And um, all of the other um, kind of flotsam and jetsam, um, the little decorative pieces that are part of the show, kind of like a, a show poster recreation. We've got that bottle of champagne, the piragua cart, the lottery ticket, um, the little bodega coffee cup, um, got flashlights for the blackout, the subway station sign, spray cans. Um, it's all here, so it's perfect. Um, such a cute kit. I loved getting to put it in action. Um, the colors, all these blues and reds, these really rich colors just kind of pop um, when you put it all together throughout a week. Um, and it's just, it's fun. I had a good, a good time putting this week together. Um, you know, there's lots of other stickers being used here. I ran out of my Hamilcast stickers that I made, so I'm still using some that, um, Vicky of the the uh, of Design Pandemonium sent me to mark the Himmelcast in my planner, so I'm using those up right now. I've had lots of events at school, so I have this little sheet of little schoolhouse stickers from uh, I think it's Simple Southern Mommy is the sticker shop, and so I use that. Um, my little scissors. I had hair cut and color that day. Um, that's from the Dainty Planner. My son's 504 meeting was this day. Those are from small town grace been writing my um this is when i had my poor laton i i actually have purchased a peloton we'll get to that um but that's when i was riding my my other bike and so i have those little stickers from nicole hutch designs and um picture day at my son's school so i have this little sticker uh, from Lexi Kylie, the order yearbook stickers also from Lexi Kylie's school year sheet. Uh, 
He auditioned for the, the musical this fall at his school, which is Matilda Jr. on that day. So I have my little Matilda cat from an actor plans and then I have my ballet class. So I have my little dancer kitty from an actor plan. So there's a lot going on this week, honestly. Um, Target on Friday that day. And so I have my little Target symbol from Small Town Grace. This was um, Labor Day weekend. So we did swim that Saturday and that little pool is from Pink Leaf Prints. Had to do our Aldi shopping. That's from the Sticker Oki. And then I redid my nails this weekend. So that's from Planner Craving. My husband had to go to his fantasy football draft. So I put a little football there from the Dainty Planner. Laundry lines from the Dainty Planner. And that kind of rounds out the week. I'm going like super hard on fall in September because if you've never been to Texas, our fall, like meteorological fall, doesn't happen until like maybe the end of October. Um, it doesn't feel like fall here hardly at all. So I, I like to start early and will it into being. And so that happens in my planner as well. So this cute fall kit is from Casey Creates, who is actually taking a break for a while. I just saw that on her Instagram. Um, but she's doing, um, or she was at the end of September doing like a going away for a little while sale um, to let people stock up. So uh, I'm not sure if that's still going on or if you can still order from her, but it's, she's about to take a break for a while. So, um, but I really love her kit. So I'm glad I had this. So this week, obviously we didn't have work or school on Monday. I did run to Trader Joe's. I like to shop there on weekdays, but um, you know, I work. So that's really hard to get there early. So I did that since I had Monday off. We went to the immersive Van Gogh exhibit in Dallas that day as well. And I kind of just, I made that little sticker just from the logo from the website, which is kind of janky, but whatever. Um, the Trader Joe's came from a sheet of different grocery stores from the sticker Oki. It was the same sheet that the little Ollie sticker comes from. Um, did a little bike ride. Then a Wednesday um, had a town hall from Broadway Weekends. Some rehearsals were happening for Matilda. And um, those little rehearsal stickers are from an actor plans as well. This kit came with a little like dollar symbol sticker or, uh, you know, like a, it's a bill clearly with a dollar symbol on it. So I use that. We do financial aid nights at each of our high schools as part of our like preparation for college applications, financial aid applications. That's part of my job. So we, my campus had our financial aid night that week. Um, Friday, Come From Away, uh, the Broadway production was filmed back in like May and they released it on Apple TV Plus. Um, if you haven't seen it yet and you have access to Apple TV Plus or you can get like a trial or want to pay for one month, it's totally worth paying for one month to see this show. It's a like a 90 minute show um, and it's so heartwarming and so it's like it's fun and funny and heart wrenching and it's it's got a little bit of everything and it's such a good story. Um, it's a true story, and so that makes it even uh, all the more endearing. So if you haven't seen Come From Away, go see it. It's on Apple TV. Like, you don't even have to leave your house or, like, wear a mask or do anything. Um, if you do go see the show, like, live, please wear a mask. They'll make you. But from your house, like, you can dress like a slob and, and eat popcorn or whatever. So it's there. Please go watch it. It's amazing. Um... Then my husband went to Texas Frightmare Weekend, which is like Comic-Con for horror fans, basically, is kind of the way I describe it. Um, so he went to that over this weekend. So it was a lot of me and, and our son being at home working on things. Uh, I was like decluttering and organizing this guest room that has kind of just been like the pit of where we throw things for the longest. So I have this little um, declutter sticker from Studio Adorkable. Did a bike ride. Did some planning, so I have another studio adorkable there. And again, a laundry line from the Dainty Planner because I'm really uh, never going to stop using those, basically. The next week, so to preface, some Broadway shows did open this week. Some opened this week. But this is like the week Hamilton reopened on Broadway. And um, it was also like the deadline that was given originally announced like Broadway 
can reopen by September 14th. Like that was kind of like the marker of like, if we can be ready to open on September 14th, like have at it. That was kind of like the go signal. So I wanted to use this kit from an actor plans, which is all based around like the theater fan, the, the audience member. Um, I wanted that to be the kit for this week, kind of just like a welcoming Broadway back situation. So she has depicted Mabel in all of the like typical situations involved in seeing a Broadway show. So all of the like souvenirs, the playbills, the tickets, the bar cups, the, you know, all of that. Um, Mabel, Mabel's waiting at the stage door for autographs and photos which they're not really doing right now during COVID, but in in the before times and hopefully sometime again, stage dooring will be a thing. Mabel's in the audience waiting for the show to start. The posters on the wall as you walk past the theaters, kind of all of the marquees outside doing the like, the standard Playbill photo. If you follow me on Instagram, I don't do a show that there's not a Playbill photo. If they don't give me a Playbill, I'm taking a picture of my ticket or some flyer about the show like, there's always a Playbill photo. Um, and then this is like Mabel bought all the merch. She's got like a bag from Frozen. She's got the program book that looks like a burn book from Mean Girls. A t-shirt from The Lion King. Looks like a Dear Evan Hansen water bottle. Some like wicked glasses. A Newsies newsboy cap. Like Mabel has outdone herself with the merch. So uh, and standing kind of in front of a merch stand. You can see the t-shirt stacked and stuff back there. So I really like this kit because it mixes the art style of Melissa from An Actor Plans, but then it's like imposed into the the photography because like that's a picture of a stage door. This is like, this is photos in the background, a photo of the merch stand, a photo of the stage. Like this just really cool way to kind of like mix the two mediums. So this was a fun week, even though um, it was a very busy week. Um, we had open house at my school. So I have this open house sticker from Lexi Kylie. Um, again, Hamilton reopens on Broadway. So I use this Hamilton flat lay from Small Town Grace. Our pest control person comes out quarterly. They came out that day. And so I had this little, it's a dragonfly. It's not really who you're targeting and pest control. But how many bug stickers do you have in your stickers? none. I have this little dragonfly though uh, from like an old summertime kit from Design Pandemonium. So I threw that on there. A little bike ride. So I have my Nicole Hutch Designs bike. It's my husband's birthday on Wednesday as well as a Matilda rehearsal and orientation for sixth grade at his school. So we have the orientation. Looks very much like the open house sticker from Lexi Kylie. Thursday there was rehearsal. I had to go to the dentist after work and then ballet and then Target on Friday. This little row of Target symbols is from Design Pandemonium. Friday night, I got to go to my high school and rehearse and then dance at halftime. It was the 50th anniversary of the dance and drill team and um, I, you know, was a, a member and officer in high school and so people were invited back from the whole, like, the very first line of people from 1971 all the way to last year's graduates to to perform at halftime. We've been learning the routine on our own from a video for the last couple of weeks prior. And then um, we came and we danced at halftime and it was awesome. And the best part is we were playing the school that I work at. So uh, that made it kind of extra special to get to have um, both audiences, so to speak. So that was a fun Friday night. We went to, to, did our normal, like every other week, Aldi trip. So I had this cute grocery sticker on a sampler from Small Town Grace. So I threw that on. The Peloton that I ordered got delivered that Saturday. So now I have a real Peloton in my house. Um, did my nails that weekend. So I have my planner craving sticker. Did some planning. So I used my Studio Adorkable. And of course, my planner or my laundry line from the, the Dainty Planner. Then Sunday, we had kind of like a birthday meal for my husband at my mom's house. So again, I used my little football from the Dainty Planner because it was kind of like there was a football game on at about that time. And I have this old like birthday cake sticker from a, an old birthday kit from Design Pandemonium. But so it worked really well there. This was a fun week. Is this the last September week? No. Sometimes um, some planners will like go into the next month and sometimes they won't. So there's two more weeks in this planner. 
Um, this week in September, the last full week of September, is when the Dear Evan Hansen movie came out on Friday. Um, and so lots of opinions about that. This is not the place to go into it, but I would just say go into it with an open mind and enjoy it for what it is and you'll probably be happy. Um, don't try to compare it to anything that already exists. But I had this kind of base Dear Evan Hansen kit from Small Town Grace. She did um, last year at Black Friday all these different uh, theater related show kits. And so I saved this one to here. Um, it's also the week of the Tonys. So I had these couple of Tony Award stickers that were left over from a kit from Triple Threat Planner. I also have some Dear Evan Hansen like pieces that are thrown in here from an, a Dear Evan Hansen kit that I had some leftovers from, from Triple Threat Planner. So piece, uh, I think this is from that kit too. Uh, yeah, it is. And then again, I'm using my little <laughs> schoolhouses because I had several things going on at school this week. Um, so those are from Simple Southern Mommy. Um, Jonathan had a dentist appointment. So I have those, these little teeth are from uh, Design Pandemonium. They used to come on like a monthly kit and they're not on there anymore, but I collected all of them to save for dentist appointments. I'm almost out of them. Um, this quote, this quote, and then of course, little Mabel as Evan Hansen. Those are from an actor plans, naturally. This I love fall most of all it's from Birds Fly Studios. There was a little like fall sampler and this was the first official day of fall even though not so much in Texas. So I put that there. Um, and Actor Plans finally came out with little ballet Mabel specifically wearing like a little ballet skirt. And so I used her for the first time this week. Another little quote from Dear Evan Hansen. And I got my um, third COVID vaccine on that Friday. Um, and that little vaccine syringe is from the same place I get my bikes. It's from Nicole Hutch Designs. I actually ended up canceling this appointment because I kind of felt bad after the vaccine. I had a fever and kind of just felt blah um, for most of Saturday. So I had canceled that appointment, moved it to the next week. Um, so that bike ride also did not happen. Um, and somebody cleaned, but it sure wasn't me. I did plan. Um, so I had this cute little fall planner from Studio Adorkable and then the laundry line from The Dainty Planner. This movie header is from um, Small Town Grace. And you know, I did go see the Dear Evan Hansen movie. Um, then I've got my little checkbox here from Design Pandemonium. Came home, watched the Tony Awards. Um, it was kind of weird this year because they had to navigate around football and Big Brother and stuff that's not normally a problem in the time of year that the Tonys are on. So I'm hoping that next year it all kind of goes back to the correct timing. And then for the last week of September, first week of October, I'm jumping straight into spooky season and using this beautiful kit from Cricut Paper Co. I, if you've been following me for a few years, I love a Halloween kit that is both gorgeous and spooky and this fits the bill. So it's got the skulls, it's got flowers, it's got this like creepy vine stuff. Um, and there are these like dark, rich, beautiful colors in these flowers. I just think this kit's gorgeous. So uh, it's pretty much most of what we see here. Um, then I've got my little sticker from the Hamilcast. Aiden went to a trial session for a uh, group voice lessons. He really enjoyed it, so we're gonna keep doing that. Um, I bought Halloween candy this week. This little sticker is from Naomi Love Designs. Um, Tuesday, we had a happy hour. This little margarita sticker is from the sticker party. And then I just I thought this was cute for Halloween. And pretty much we sat at happy hour and talked about things that were boo sheet. And so I thought that sticker was appropriate. That's from the Ginger Cat Co. And she's in the UK. So it does, if you order those stickers, take a little while to get here. Um, so add some extra stuff besides that to your cart and make it worth your while and the shipping, but um, super cute. Um, then Wednesday, it was both my stepmother and my mother-in-law's birthday. Um, so that's a lot of birthdays. And then bike ride. I used this cute little um, canister set up from Small Town Grace. And then back to ballet on Thursday, another little Small Town Grace Halloween touch. Friday was Target. Those little carts are from Design Pandemonium. Another musical available on streaming, the recording of the Broadway company of Diana the Musical um, is on Netflix as of Friday, October 1st. I 
I'm recording this just for your own knowledge on Saturday. I haven't watched it yet. I was meaning to watch it last night. Didn't happen. I'm going to watch it here when I get done with this, actually. Um, so I, I don't have an opinion yet. Uh, the little marquee back here is from Libby & Co. The little foil theater frame and the streaming sticker are from an actor plans. Um, Diana is led by the owner of Broadway Weekends, where I take my ballet classes. So I've had quite a few people who've taught my classes in this company. So I feel very connected to it because I've, I've talked to all of these people on Zoom for like 18 months. And so I'm really excited to see the show. I have a ticket for it in March to go see it in person, uh, but I'm really excited to see it. So I'm going to watch that in a little bit. Um, the reason I haven't gotten to it is because I've worked all day today. We had a FAFSA event to help students complete their financial aid application. Uh, I had this little like bank with a money symbol on it on some old swag sheet. I don't even know what shop it came from but it's on there. I'm filming. I'm doing that right now. Check. Um, we had some Aldi to do today. So both of these are from an actor plans and they're actually both pretty new um, stickers. The YouTube and the little Mabel with her bag of groceries. Doing my plans here in a little while as well with this little sticker from Studio Adorkable and Laundry is a witchy laundry line from the Dainty Planner. Move that eyebrow appointment to tomorrow and then I've got some other to-dos to take care of. That's the end of this one. Oh, if you didn't notice what's back on here, if you pre-pandemic watched any of this or follow me on Instagram, you notice I always had countdowns, countdown to the next time I'm seeing Hamilton and I'm still willing to wait for it, but they're back in seven weeks. I go to see the Angelica Company in Dallas twice in the same week. Super excited about it. These countdown stickers are from Blue Moon Stickers, or it might be Blue Moon's Designs. I can't remember. I'll tag below um, on uh, Etsy. So get into it. I'm so ready, y'all. So ready. Okay, getting back to it. Here we go. So the... Gooseby Twins Planner, like I said, is my social media. Um, oh, we're not in October yet. We're in September. We're, we haven't started October yet. Okay, so the first week I used this super cute mermaid kit from Design Pandemonium. Um, I just really love all of the colors and all of the styles they used to put together this kit. Um, they've done other mermaid kits before that were more mo monochromatic and I love that too, but I love that this was like a totally different mermaid vibe, um, and all the sea animals, just love it. It was a cute week. This is a very like super fall week from Cricut Paper Co. I just love, um, I love when the fall colors are more than orange and yellow. I do love an orange and yellow, but I do love when you get into the navies and the burgundies. So pretty. This is another kit that's like sort of fall. It's kind of got some witchy vibes. Like there's some crystals, there's a black cat, there's like some celestial stuff happening. Um, it's very cute and I love the colors. This is another Cricut Paper Co. situation. And then this week um, is from Studio Adorkable and it's very much like about all the pumpkin things and so I thought this was perfect for the first week of fall you have all the like pumpkin baked goods and the coffee and the donut and then the little characters all in their fall finery so cute I really love that and then since Sunday tomorrow for me um you guys will be watching this Monday or later um is Mean Girls Day I use another one of those kits from Small Town Grace uh from her Broadway collection to kind of round out this week and I love the way she depicted the set design and then I needed a couple more full boxes so I grabbed these two quote sheets from an old Mean Girls quote sheet from Design Pandemonium to fill that in so that worked out perfectly and then let's move on to our kit life September so this was my like kind of scratchity planning what am I posting on Instagram I do ugliness all day every day purchases to do's gratefulness whatever um, then on the weekend I make it pretty so I use the leftovers of that design pandemonium mermaid kit there ugly 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 just getting my life together this Sunday I had some 
washi and I just some kind of stickers from a random swag sheet. Just tried to make it cute. Then, ugly, ugly, ugly. And here are the leftovers of that kind of like witchy vibes kit from uh, Cricut Paper Co. So again, just trying to make it a little extra on the weekend. Getting it done, getting it done, making it happen. Then I had this, um, I want to say it's lemon and honey. I think that's right, this kind of rainbowy kit. And then I put this piece of uh, Simply Gilded Washi to kind of tie it all together with this kind of like sparkly rainbow pastel vibe. Love. And then that's the end of September because the next weekend's in October. So that's it. You made it. You survived all of my um, probably oversharing and talking too much. I'm sorry about that, but that's that's too bad. Like, I hope you figured out that that's just what I do here. Uh, but thank you so much for watching and for making it all the way to this point. I do appreciate you. I have been trying to do two videos a month. I am going to New York in two weeks. So I don't know that that second video is going to happen in October. It's probably going to be a one video month. Um, but uh, stick around and come back in November. And I'll tell you about all the things that happened in October. Follow me on Instagram if you want the day-by-day, play-by-play of it all. But, um, yeah, it, I'm, I'm excited. And um, it's my favorite time of year. Like, the October to December season is, like, my absolute favorite. So I'm here for it, and I'll be back to share more as soon as I can. Thanks again for watching, y'all. Bye.